I do think as as, yeah, this will. is going to get done. But I am a little concerned. And here's why I'm concerned, Brew. Brew, do you think Kyrie Irving is a Phil Jackson type of basketball player? Do you think when Phil Jackson's surveying uh-huh. the NBA landscape, no. he's like, oh, you know who I think's part of a championship culture? You know who I think plays the right way? You know who I'd like to have on my team? Kyrie Irving. And man, yeah. that Genie Bus tweet that Brew mentioned yesterday, or that Wilds mentioned yesterday, sure got me thinking who is whispering in her ear? Who is right now <laughs> pulling in the opposite direction? Of the Lakers getting just falling, you know, backwards into an all NBA caliber, even if it's not consistently all NBA, an all NBA caliber player at the cost of a guy you want to get off your team, you are considering buying out. It's like, hey, you can have this unmined diamond that might end up just being a piece of coal, but it might be a diamond. What's it gonna cost me? Literally, uh, this thing you were going to throw out with the garbage anyway, and maybe a few dollars six years from now. You're like, I don't know, might turn out to be coal. Why would this not already be done? Unless the Zen master is who we know, Plasky, Plasky reported it, that, that Genie Bus told him Phil Jackson is involved. And so I, there is no reason this shouldn't get done. And the added bonus, I, they're talking about, you know, having to include Joe Harris and the Lakers wanting Seth Curry more, which is fine. If it worked salary-wise, Brew, I mean this. I would trade Russell Westbrook straight up for Joe Harris. If you could do it salary-wise, it'd be like one for one. Send it in. Get LeBron, get Russ off the team and <laughs> add a shooter. Now, that doesn't make him a championship caliber, but I'd send it in. So the fact that it's not done is a little concerning and a little vexing to me. So I wonder if Phil Jackson and the Rambi aren't a problem here. No, look, that's a great point. And you mentioned Jeannie Buss's tweet. So let's call it up if we have it. But I agree. When I read her tweet, you you see, it's just honestly, it was the greatest. Like she's tributing Kobe. He understood team over self. Meaning your rewards would come if you value. She's talking about team, 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 team. Yeah. It makes me wonder, Nick, and this is speculation. Is LeBron the only one in the organization that wants Kyrie? That's very possible. That you mentioned Phil Jackson. Maybe other people in the front office are saying, look, Kyrie is a wrecking ball. He will leave us in shambles. Okay? You can't count on him. And remember, Nick, if they trade for him, I get it. They're sending salary out, but they're going to be paying him $36 million. And so, I look, I agree with you. They should try to get this done, no doubt about it. But I do wonder if LeBron is going solo in pushing for this. Now, I know Darvin Ham. I have known him since he was a player. He's Mm -hmm. strong enough to handle Kyrie, and I know he feels like he can handle Kyrie. But you don't know that he can. I mean, Kyrie... It goes by the beat of his own drum. And so I I do think, Nick, that uh, I think it's going to get done, but I think that that could be something holding it up. And, And to be quite honest, you guys know how I feel about the Nets. The Nets should be the one pulling back. The Nets should be the one saying, look, we have control of this situation. You're not gonna tell us you want Seth Curry. We'll determine how this trade goes down. Or we don't have to trade Kyrie. Of course. Kyrie is signed under contract. So I think the Lakers are desperate and they're going to try to get it done. I think Wilds ultimately probably will get done. But if I were the net side, step back. And then, like Nick said, I think you got some hesitancy on the Lakers part. Okay, so I think the Nets hold all the cards. And I vehemently disagree with the Phil Jackson take. First on the Nets. I think this tide can turn, it goes out, it comes back in. Just wait a while. Two months ago, Kyrie was referring to himself as a cornerstone of the organization and his teammates and the personnel in the front office as family. Then, all of a sudden, we've got a trade request. Then he opts back in and says, see, in the fall, 
And then on July 1st, he tweeted a, a caged bird flying. So we've gone up and down, but he is under contract, and I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed with the Nets. And about the Phil Jackson thing, while I think it is interesting, I literally have the exact opposite take. So, and I'll re- like Phil Jackson, if anything, would be a perfect match for Kyrie. Kyrie walked around uh, Boston and he saged the court, and everyone's like, ah, oh, there goes Kyrie with his antics. Except when Phil Jackson literally was doing the same thing with Shaq and Kobe, he's like, you know what? There's the Zen master. Oh, 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 always thinking. I feel like they both would be a perfect combination. They both like have a, a, a shared Native American. I think Phil Jackson was has Native American. He certainly appreciates the culture, and obviously Kyrie is um, has has uh, is part of the Native community. I think they would be yeah. a perfect match, and I think it would be a good challenge for Phil Jackson to take another guy who maybe hasn't reached his potential and and reach it. I think they would be a great match. So I think it was an interesting take. I just have hey. the exact opposite No, view. I, don't, I don't disagree I that it. Phil Jackson and Kyrie Irving might off the court share some interests and might be able to go on a very right. nice nature hike together and discuss the beauties <laughs> of, you know what I mean, Mother Earth. But that does not mean that <laughs> Phil Jackson, in his later years, who has clearly, I think it's fair to say, does not necessarily jive with how the current player handles their basketball business, that he that he endorses at Kyrie Irving at all. Now, by the way, I don't think many people endorse how I, Kyrie I, Irving's I just, handled I, things over the last few years. I disagree but with I, that. Go ahead, Wilds. He, he, well, he, he, he was a disaster he with the players Dennis in Rodman New York. Wilds. Go, go to Las Vegas and participate in a wrestling match. Do I? That like, was during the playoffs. Years I'm going to go wrestle. Like, okay, if that's what you need, you <laughs> think he'd be mad with Kyrie taking a week of personal days? Wild, wild. Uh, you don't have anyone in your life. That was that got grouchier and more of a curmudgeon a quarter well, century okay. later. People that might have been cool, at, to, like that's a cool fifty-year-old, and be like, that is a jackass seventy-five-year-old. Like, what happened to you? It's that's like, true. Kids these days. Wow, it's <laughs> like that, the yeah, other I mean, thing. that was a Look, long that's... time ago. <laughs> but he has. Phil the is just what an unofficial. Phil is just an unofficial consultant. He's not in the gym every day coaching the team. I agree with you. I mean, if, if at his best, if he was coaching the team, he might be able to get through Ky- to Kyrie and make him a better player. But he's not close sure. to doing that. And that he's not no. going to be able to cr- change Kyrie from afar for the better. So that, that's the problem there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First. Or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.